Welcome, in front of me I have a Maze with GTR 2e and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the iPhone. First thing we need to do is to turn on our watch and you can turn it on by pressing and holding the upper button. Once you see the Maze with logo on the screen you can release the button and wait until the watch boots up. After it does, you will see the list of languages on the screen. And you can scroll through this list by swiping up and down. Now find the language you would like to use on your watch and tap on it to select it. And after you select the language, you will see the QR code on the screen, which means we need to download and install the Zep application on the iPhone we want to pair our watch with. So make sure you have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled. Once you do, open the App Store on your iPhone. In the App Store, tap on Search. Tap on the search bar and type in Zep. And then tap on search button. And you should see this application on the list. Zep. Tap on it. Tap on the get button to download and install it. Okay, and once the application is done downloading, you can tap on open button to open it. In the app, you may see pop-ups about the permission, for example, the Bluetooth one. The Bluetooth one is required, so tap on allow it. <laughs> and if you don't see any permissions anymore, the pop-ups, you will need to log in into a Zep account. If you don't have an account, you can always make a new one by tapping on sign up or use third party account like Apple, Facebook or Google. I already have an account, so I'm gonna log in into mine. So give me a couple of seconds. After you log in, you will see more pop-ups about permissions. For example, here we have the uh, access to your motion and, uh, and fitness activity. Another location permission popped up. And the location one is needed if you want to use features like local weather or track your uh, routes, for example, while you're running and cycling on the map. So if you want to use any of these features, you will need to allow this permission. The motion uh, and fitness activity is used for steps and a calorie burn and stuff like that. So if you want to use any of the, those features, you will need to allow this permission. Next, we have the notification permission. This is used if you want to receive the notifications from your iPhone on your watch. Uh, so if you do tap on allow, if you don't care, you can deny it. And finally, we have the access health or ac access to Apple health rather. Tap on OK, it will redirect you to this page. And here you can enable and disable permissions to write and read the data from health features. So if you want to use any any health features on your watch, it's recommended to allow th these permissions. If you don't care, you can tap on don't allow. I'm gonna tap on turn on all, tap on allow, and now you should see the homepage uh, of the app. And once you see it, tap on the profile icon, tap on add device, tap on watch, tap on agree, allow, and you will see the this page basically and what we need to do is to uh, point uh, our iPhone's camera on the watch to scan the QR, QR code. Once you scan the QR code it's gonna start pairing tap on the check mark on the watch here you can restore the reminders if you want to so basically if you had any devices connected to your account and uh, previously you can restore the reminders and stuff like that. I want to tap on don't restore, but you can restore it if you want to. Then tap on done, done. And at this point, you should see the device page for your watch. And if you wake up the screen on your watch, uh, you should be able to use it. So that means that the devices are uh, paired together. And that's how you pair this watch with the iPhone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.